Hi, Galena. All right. Um, so the movie that I watched is Erin Brockovich. And so it's about a woman who is a broke single mom. Um, she was in a car, she has three kids and she was in a car accident. So she wanted to sue the doctor who hit her with his car. Um, and then, so the lawyer that she had was Ed Masri and then they lost because she like blew up explosively in court and they all thought that she was faking it to get some money. Um, so later, uh, Aaron appeared at his workplace and got a job there and started working for him. Um, but then Masri ended up firing her because she wasn't at work for five uh, for a week because she was actually um, working on a case, but he thought that she was just out partying. So she was investigating PG and E because she had received um, she was she had received some files about them trying to buy a woman's house um, and they had also paid for her doctor because she had cancer um, and then so Aaron was a little suspicious about that and wondered why they were doing that um, and so this is what she was investigating when Masri actually fired her um, later on he rehired her because he found out what she was actually doing and then together they worked on suing that company um, so the movie overall, uh, I really did like it. It was, it did focus on a serious issue, but it was also humorous at times, and it didn't just focus on Aaron Brockovich's work life and the whole, and just the case about PG and E and their contaminated water that causes cancer, but um, it also focused on her, uh, what was it, her personal life like such as her family of three kids and her neighbor that had just moved in who helped babysit for her and then they ended up having a relationship. Alright, so I'm just gonna get into the slides now and talk about um, how it relates to how this movie relates to ethics in the first place. So um, ethics is a systematic thinking about the moral consequences of decision so it's um, knowing the difference between right and wrong, and business ethics is ethics that are applied to business and management situations. Um, so the ethic issues that were mentioned or that were uh, focused on in this movie, there were actually three that I noticed. Um, so the first one was from the employees, that is from Masri, I guess, in Aaron's perspective, because he did fire her. Um, for technically no reason, for just assuming that what she was doing was not working. Um, but the more important and bigger picture um, that we're focused on are the consumers and society. And this is from PG&E's perspective, both of them. So PG&E, they contaminated water. Um, they lied to the residents in Hinkley, I believe it was. Um, about the chromium that they were putting in the water and saying that it was safe for them so that's with the consumers and that's also actually for society because it is respecting the environment which they weren't doing and um, I think that that was very wrong of them that was very messed up they shouldn't have done that um, and they were doing it as an immoral approach because they knew that they were doing it they were doing it on purpose they had someone call they had that um, the guy who let Aaron into the room to look through files, they had him call her anonymously and threaten her about the fact that she was snooping. They knew what they were doing and they were doing it for a profit, so it was unethical of them to do so. Um, yeah, overall, it was a very good movie. I would recommend watching it. I love Julia Roberts, she's so funny. <laughs> um, and yeah, that is basically all I have to say about it.